good morning guys welcome to today's video i thought that i would do a little vlogging this week because it is my birthday week my birthday is on sunday today is wednesday but i have a couple of fun things going on this week and so i thought it would be fun to take you along when's the last time i made a vlog on this channel it's been a very long time so i thought that it would be fun um, I do have work today, but today is my Friday and I'm off the rest of the week and I'm off on Monday So I took a long weekend for my birthday Things you'll see in this video. I'm gonna go to the pool today and get some Sun before I go to work I'm going on a beach trip with my friends uh, Actually tomorrow we leave tomorrow to go for a couple of days. We rented an Airbnb at the beach So that's gonna be really fun. We're not doing that for my birthday it just happened to fall on my birthday, but it works out. I have some Amazon packages and purchases that I can share with you and probably like a birthday dinner here and there with the family. So there's a couple things coming. So this video should be fun. Um, I've had a pretty relaxing morning so far. It's about, it's almost 10 o'clock. I just got done with my therapy session with my therapist. It was a really good session. I love morning sessions actually, because it just kind of sets the, the tone for the rest of the day. I'm going to sit down now and do my Bible study for the day, and then we will continue on with the day. So if you're interested, the Bible study that I've been doing is Milena Ciciotti's nine day uh, study on the book of Esther. Um, I'll leave the, the link in the description if you want. I think it's ten dollars i bought it the day it launched so it was like 7.99 but here i'll show you this is what it looks like it's really well done i'm on day five as you can see um and it just tells you like what verses to read that day and then it gives you like questions to think about and things like that so it's only nine day study i'm on day five it's been really good so far it's basically all about being used wherever you are in your life and that you were put there for a reason. It's kind of like a everything happens for a reason sort of story. Um, I had never read the book of Esther before, so I'm learning a lot. Aside from that, I've also been reading a proverb a day. So there's 31 chapters in the book of Proverbs and 31 days in July. So today is the 12th, so I will read Proverbs 12 as well as my little devotional. So I'm gonna do all that now for a little bit and I will check in with you guys um, probably for breakfast time. Hello, so I just finished eating some breakfast. I just made like a little avocado feta scramble that I make, that's one of my favorites. You guys have heard me talk about it before, it was bomb. But I thought I would show you some Amazon purchases that I have gotten recently. I have unpacked them all already, but I thought I'd do a little haul and show you guys. So, first one being, <laughs> these things are so incredibly ugly, but let me tell you, it is like walking on a freaking cloud. They're so comfortable. I think they're like moon slides. I don't know. They'll be in my Amazon storefront, but it's, it's, it's like walking on a cloud. I bought them not necessarily to wear too much in public. I bought them really for going to the beach and the pool, which I mean is going out in public, but you know what I mean? I would never put this with like a stylish outfit, but to go to the beach and the pool, I don't have like rubber shoes that I could just mess up and, and you know, not care. And these will be pretty durable. No regrets. My friends judge me for these. I don't care. I love them. And I'm so excited to wear them today when I go to the pool. So that's number one. This is super random, but I got this little tray. It's a black tray and it's for my bathroom. I used to have this on my toilet. Hold on. I used to have this basket and this is what I would put um, like my jars of cotton swabs and cotton pads and whatever else I needed it would go in here and it served its purpose for the last year but I think we could do better I think this I don't know we could do better so I got this tray super aesthetically pleasing sleek it matches my bathroom like the detailing in my bathroom so it's perfect it matches beautifully and it just rests right on top and I put my two little jars of cotton swabs and cotton pads in here I have a little plant right next to it and it looks really good it's just more modern more mature and i guess classy looking i don't know if you say that something is more mature does that make it less mature probably but i like the way it looks so much better i think this was like 14 bucks could have been like 10 if you asked me but whatever it looks really good so 
I got this tray. And then the last thing is even more random, but I needed magnets for my refrigerator. Um, and they are all sticking to each other. But I have so many invitations for weddings and bridal showers and stuff and they were all just sitting on my desk and it looked awful. So I bought just a little set of clear magnets and if you can see over there, now I have the invitations and stuff on my fridge. Where is it? There, over there. So it was, that's kind of a random purchase, but it was, it was necessary. So those are just a few things that I picked up that I needed slash wanted to be honest so i'll have my amazon storefront linked down below for you guys should you want to look up any of these things but now it is time to get ready for the pool because i want to get some sun before i go to work it's the beauty of working night shift sometimes um so i'll see you in a bit we are about to be en route to the pool it is 10 45 a.m um, the pool is about 10, 15 minutes from me, so we'll see depending on what the traffic and the construction is like today, because a lot of construction happening around me lately. Um, we should be there by 11, and then I'll get probably, I'll probably get like an hour and a half there today, which isn't bad. So, let's get going, and I don't know how much I'm going to vlog there, because I feel like that might be a little weird but I'll have my camera with me, so we'll see. Hello, so I'm back home now. It's about 1 p.m. I have to leave for work in like an hour. I am a sweaty mess. It's so hot out there, and I definitely think I got even more color today. The UV was like eight today, so it's rough out there. I'm sweaty, I'm gross. So I'm gonna jump in the shower, start getting ready. I have to pack my lunch, my dinner, some snacks for the day and then we can get going so time to get clean alrighty guys it is that time so this is probably gonna be it for me for the vlog for today at least because I'm just gonna go to work and come home and probably go to bed so nothing more really interesting going on for the rest of the day but it is time for me to go to work and to do the things here's the fit nothing fancy at all ignore my slippers over there but yeah, super comfy. I'm not really into uh, denim lately as it's like 95 degrees. So summery pants it is. So I have my, my work bag. I have my ring light out, which is never out, but it's only out for this vlog. Getting my lunch bag. And it's time to go. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday morning. It's almost afternoon. Um, my hair is wild today, um, but it's the day we leave for our little beach trip, so I have kind of just been cleaning the apartment a little bit just so I don't come home to a mess. Um, have not packed yet, <laughs> need to shower, and then I'll just have to take out the garbage and the recycling. I'm only going to be gone for like four days, but I don't know, whenever I leave for even just like Anything more than two days, I like to leave everything like clean and just tidy so that everything's fine when I come back. So I do need to get a move on because uh, I put packing off until the last minute as I kind of usually do. I'm a very quick packer though. I have to leave soon to pick up some of the guys because they are coming in my car. So I have to pick them up and then we're going to drive. It's probably gonna be like two hours. Hopefully there isn't a lot of traffic to get to the Airbnb, but we'll see. So yeah, I'm gonna get a move on and I will check in with you guys in a little bit. So as per usual, I'm over packing. I'm only going for four days, but I just don't know the extent of like what we're doing, how many times we're gonna go out, or are we gonna go out to dinner? I don't know. So I will show you what I have so far. Two bathing suits, even though it's looking like we're only gonna get one beach day. Uh, jewelry holder, pajamas, sweatshirt. I brought a pair of cargo pants and two shorts. Well, actually, I'm gonna bring three, not including the ones I'm gonna wear today. Two dresses, one of which I'll probably wear the night of my birthday, where it turns midnight and then it becomes my birthday. Um, four, like going out tops, two beach cover ups. This is what I'm gonna wear today. Pair of sneakers, a pair of nicer sandals, my purse for, you know, going out at night. And I think that's pretty much it. So I'm torn between, am I missing something or am I bringing too much? And both of those feel relevant. 
and then our Airbnb doesn't include towels and blankets so I have those in a separate bag as well uh, the weather not looking great it's calling for rain Friday tomorrow and Sunday Saturday at least says no rain so I think that's gonna be our beach day so super excited for that but I'm just over packing. I feel like this is okay. I should not bring more than this. So the last thing I have to do is I'm packing up all the makeup that I want to take. I'm not bringing this gigantic thing. It's just unnecessary, especially for a beach trip, I think. So I just have a concealer brush, a foundation brush, and um, my like bronzer stipple brush in here. Those are the only three I think I need. So let's see. I'm going to put everything in here. I'm going to bring powder. SPF, BB cream, mascara. I will bring eyeliner for going out. Concealer, my blush. I'm gonna bring my e.l.f. primer, contour stick, setting powder maybe, or not setting, setting spray. Do I need this? I need lipstick. This is a nice like pink creamy lipstick. I'm almost done with it. It's by Milani. It's in the shade 26 Nude. Nude cream. It's really good. Alright, I have the room for it, so I will bring the setting spray and eyelash curler. I don't think I need anything else. Yeah, I think I'm good. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this, put this in my bag with my makeup brushes, and that's it. Also, what do you guys think of the hair? So I'm trying to embrace more of my natural texture um but it doesn't look like this naturally i have products in it um and i found ones that i'm really starting to like i can do a separate video on that if you want and then i lightly diffuse it with a with my blow dryer with a diffuser on the end to dry it and then i go in with a half inch curling wand and i just add some curls to the front just to give it like some structure i guess and I think I'm getting the hang of it. I think it's perfect for summer. I can't wait for my hair to be longer because I think it'll look better. But what do you guys think? I'm I'm tired of just straightening it all the time. I want to give it some, some body. So I'm experimenting with it. But I think this is the best it's come out so far. So, so glad we're going to the beach where it's going to frizz five seconds after I get there. But... Yeah, this is what we're looking like for right now. So I have to start assembling everything and getting the apartment ready to head out. All right, guys, I have all my bags with me. This is clothes, blanket, bathing suits, all the things. And this is my beach bag for when we get there, plus towel, beach towel and bath towel, and a bunch of like toiletries that didn't fit in there. And then I have my actual like purse purse with snacks and chargers and stuff for the drive so I have to head out now to pick up my friends I don't know how much I'm gonna like vlog the trip per se because I'm not really into like shoving the camera in people's faces you know I just want to be present and enjoy but I will try to get little clips for you guys here and there so let's get this show on the road Hi guys, I am, oh, I am back home. I am shot. I am so tired. It was a very fun weekend though. I didn't really have my camera out at all, but I took little clips on my phone. So I will make maybe like a little video montage somewhere in this video. But it was a very fun weekend. The weather held up. Today was a really bad weather day, but we just went out to breakfast and drove home anyway, so it was fine. It's about 4.40 p.m. Today is my birthday, so I just got in and I have to leave in an hour to go meet my family for my birthday dinner. So I'm celebrating with mom's side of the family today, dad's side of the family tomorrow, 
So it's very nice. I am off tomorrow. I took Monday off, so I have a very long weekend, which is very nice. I'm very thankful for that. Um, but I really have to hustle because I have to shower, wash my hair, blow it out, change, do all the things and make sure that I look presentable. I think I was actually born at like four something PM. So I officially am 27 years old. And this last year has been a good one. It's been a really hard one, but it's also been a very, um, it's a year that's caused me to grow a lot, which is great. And I'm really excited about 27 and just this new chapter, I guess. So I'm feeling really good about turning 27, although it is a little surreal. Also side note, I just wanna show you, I have never had an experience with dip powder ever like this in my life. It's so bad, just every every day a little piece would just crack off. And I'm not really happy about it. It's only been about two and a half weeks since I've had these on. So obviously, and it happens, you know, whatever, but obviously something was not done properly. Ooh, and I hate saying that. And I actually went back and got them fixed one week after, or like two days after I got them done the first time. And even still with them being fixed, they did not hold up. So I have a wedding coming up this week. So your girl cannot show up like this. So I think tomorrow, while I have the day off before I meet my family, I am gonna go get a manicure as well. So I will take you along for that. But I cannot procrastinate anymore. I really need to get in the shower and I'll try to show you my outfit and everything um, before I leave. Cool guys, I'm running late. I wanted to leave at six o'clock. It's like 6.13 or something crazy like that. Um, but we're heading out now. Um, you're gonna laugh when I show you what I'm wearing. Hold on. If you've been with me for a while, you know I wore this for my 25th birthday. Um, it still fits, which is great. Um, all my other options that I tried on, I tried on a couple dresses, all the things. It just, I was not feeling any of them. And yeah, my apartment is an absolute mess. I'm gonna unpack tonight and tomorrow, probably more tomorrow. I have my ring light still out. I have a package over here that I have to open um, for my other channel, the something that a company sent me. If you could just see my apartment right now, like making me itch it's so dirty but it's okay so i have to go i have to go meet the family um and i will see you guys in a little bit good morning hi guys it is monday morning you can tell it's early morning because my voice is kind of deep um i just woke up i just did like the washing face brushing teeth routine all that um and i'm realizing that i have more to do today than i thought i underestimated a little bit I like to work out. I got to do my Bible study. I need to get these nails done. I can't. Last night at dinner, which by the way, sorry, I didn't film an outro last night. I was just so tired and it was just a really long day, but dinner was great. It was wonderful. I feel very blessed and very thankful. Um, but all night, I would, like whenever I would touch my hair, it would just get stuck under all my nails because they're all broken and it was like physically irritating me. So I need to get, I need to get that taken care of. Um, so I'm gonna call them now actually to see when they can fit me and then everything else I have to do today is gonna resolve around that. I also need to unpack. I have packages I need to open and I need to go grocery shopping and then meet my family around like three o'clock. So it's 10, 20 right now. I have a little less than five hours to do all that. So let's just call the nail salon now. You can call with me. Hi, I was wondering um, how busy you guys are today. Do you have any availability in the morning or early afternoon for a dip manicure? Yeah, what time do you want to come? Um, come now? now? Okay, yeah, I can come now. That'd be perfect. I'll be there in like eh, 20 minutes. Is that okay? Okay, yeah, sure. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, she was the sweetest thing. Okay, so they're not busy today. So that's perfect. So I'm going to go get dressed right now go to the nail salon and then the grocery store is less than five minutes from there so i'll hit that on the way home and then i'll come home and work out and see what else i have time for so that worked beautifully okay let's go okay kind of a weird angle here i forgot my tripod at home but i would say that was a success we went for a little bit of a chrome moment which i've never done before and i've always wanted to try um and i got my favorite girl in there when I went 
So she did a fantastic job, made them a little bit thicker this time because I, you know, I showed her that my nails didn't really hold up last time. Um, and she was very nice about it. And so I really like the chrome. I would definitely do it again. Also totally forgot that I went to that nail salon with a pimple patch on my chin. You can't really see it, so it's fine. I'm sure most people didn't notice, but totally just have a pimple patch on my face. Okay, so groceries are put away. I actually did my unpacking too. So we love that. And now we're unboxing a package. This is um, a ring light. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. This is a ring light from the band, the brand Newer. I've used their products for years, uh, but they sent me a new set to film with. So in a situation like this, the brand is not paying me to show their product in a video, but they are sending me their product for free um, in exchange for free publicity. So that's kind of how it works. So this is the brand. Let's open it up. This is what it looks like. So yeah, it's actually smaller than the one that I'm using now, which is good. If you are a follower of my main channel, which I'm sure most of you are, you will be seeing this in an upcoming video soon, I'm sure. Okay, so last thing to do is to get my workout in. So I'm already changed and I'm gonna try to do like an hour-ish, maybe a little bit less, on the treadmill. You guys have seen my treadmill. I've showed you my treadmill before. So I'm gonna get on there for like an hour, maybe 50 minutes, we'll see. If I do an hour, that would give me nine minutes to shower and get ready before I have to leave to go meet my family. So we'll see. I should be good, so let's do it. Here we are again with another really weird angle. I am just filling up my water. I'm getting ready to head out the door. Um, I'm gonna meet my family in a few minutes. I just got off the phone with them, so we should be getting there around the same time. I did have, okay, this is weird, hold on. I did have a little bit of lunch after I finished my workout, so I feel good. I'm probably gonna have dinner there. So we're just gonna hang out. It's only, it's like 3.15, so the sun is still kind of strong until like six o'clock these days. So I think I should still be able to get a little bit of sun, as if I didn't get enough this weekend. So I got my beach bag packed and I'm ready to go enjoy the last of my long birthday weekend. So I will see you guys in a little bit probably to wrap up the video and to tell you guys how today went. All right guys, we did it. We reached the end of the birthday weekend. It was a long weekend, but it was really good. I just, don't mind me, I'm already wrapped in my blanket. I just did my skincare. Um, and I'm ready to sit on the couch and watch at least two episodes of my show. It's still early enough. And yeah, the birthday celebration went really nice today. Um, my family did get me some, some goodies. Um, I have my birthday cards from my family. Very cute. I'm very thankful and very, just feeling very blessed and feeling the love this year. If you could tell, my life is usually, um pretty hectic like 8.5 out of 10 times this is what it's like oh my god it looks so funny right now um but yeah i'm usually just like go 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 honestly whether it's work or like social life or youtube stuff or going on a trip like i'm always doing something it's very rare that i can just like sit and do nothing which I'm, I'm thankful for it, it's all good things, but sometimes it is nice to just get home and like sit down and have it be early enough um, to just chill. And I'm very proud of myself because my instinct is telling me, okay, I finished filming this vlog, now I need to start editing it because I want it to go up tomorrow. But you know what, it's 10.15 at night. I have yet to really just sit down and chill this weekend so I'm telling myself I can do that tomorrow. Thank you guys for hanging out with me this weekend. I hope that it was somewhat entertaining and not boring. Thank you for all of the birthday wishes that I got on Instagram and in the comments of my other channel. It always amazes me that you guys remember when my birthday is without me even having to say it. And that's just amazing to me and I'm really grateful for it. So I'm thankful for you guys. Thank you for being here again. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.